Hello, I'm Sean Fletcher. You're watching Inside Out London. Here's what's coming up on tonight's show. Is being a delivery driver London's most dangerous job? Nowadays, uh, obviously, there's so many gangs. They want to take bikes. They want to do crimes with our bikes. We don't feel safe. We've all got used to having food delivered to our doorsteps at all hours of the day and night, but spare a thought for the delivery riders because they're frequently becoming the target of armed bike and moped gangs who attempt to steal their delivery vehicles to use them to commit further crimes. To reveal just how dangerous it can be out there, we armed some of those riders with cameras. Chris Rogers has the story and I should warn you, you may find parts of this report disturbing. Money out, weighing problems on the triple beam. I'm sticking to the script. I'm a courier. Um, I'm working in London and I keep being attacked and I keep being followed and intimidated by moped thieves. Omer Margin is one of thousands of couriers delivering food and goods to Londoners every day. It's getting to the point where I'm seeing the thieves more than I'm seeing the police, so I'm feeling really threatened. He's delivering in Shepherd's Bush. But Omar's job makes him a prime target for gangs who want to steal his bike to carry out their crimes. He had a hammer, so I was trying to get a hammer off him around the floor, wrestling. Now, as he's distracting me, the other guy's on my bike. Oh, I see. So he, he's just picking you up to distract you from the other guy trying yeah. to take your bike. Yeah, but then I got him off the bike and I'm like literally clinging onto him. I don't know what I was thinking. And most of these thieves are actually more afraid of a camera than they probably would be if I were to get out a weapon because they don't want to be exposed and that's why they cover their faces. So just how dangerous is it to deliver food to your door? These couriers want to show you the lengths criminals will go to to steal their bikes. We've given various cameras to around a dozen couriers across London and over a two week period, they've said that they'll be able to provide a snapshot of just how dangerous it is for them out on the streets of London. Our food delivery drivers are all freelancers, among around 3,000 in London, working in a business that's booming. But the moped crime business is also booming. They say they've been targeted for their bikes daily, and they've had enough. Nowadays, uh, obviously, there's so many gangs, even youngsters to oldest, all are like, they want to take bikes. Emon delivers across East London. He's heading out to work from Upton Park. Two minutes into his journey, he's asked for directions by a youth. But this is no ordinary passerby. Straight down, there is a station, yeah? Watch as Emmon is distracted. A station? Sorry? This way, this way. Oh, the other way. Other youths come out from nowhere and begin to circle him. <laughs> They've tried to kick and punch Emmon off his bike. They tried to attack me in it. Well, they said, give me your bike. The gang are not giving up. Instead of calling the police, Emmon calls other couriers for help. And they also have hidden cameras. Another. Look, look, they're running, thieves. They're trying to take our bike. They corner the gang. They want, he wanted to take my bike, innit? He did never met it. And the standoff doesn't last long. You see them every week, every time. You okay? Yeah, just You're shaking, aren't you? Get away! Get away! Hey, hey, Even when they are off shift, couriers are not safe. Oh my God. <laughs> Gangs are brazen enough to take their bikes right outside their home. Obviously, we are not millionaire or billionaire. You know what I mean? So obviously, we don't want to lose our moped. It's, Isn't it risky it's, trying it's, to trying to get a? Bike back off again. It is risky, so but uh, we have to take because if you if you don't find our bike, we can't work 
next two, three weeks or four weeks, maybe one month. We're up to. And it seems they will do anything to protect each other and their bikes. God, this guy's having his bike stolen. This thief appears to be armed with a large knife. But having been disturbed, they make a run for it. The dangers for couriers hit headlines last year when 17-year-old Derek John from Croydon attacked six moped riders with acid in the space of 90 minutes. Jabbed was one of his victims. I was just hopeless and sitting down here, I was just started crying. I didn't know what to do. I mean, um, in that situation, I, ne I never had any experience. In that. Only I feel like I need to put something cold to make it cold. Then I just texted to my fellow colleagues in that group, WhatsApp group, and all, all of them, they arrived. And at the same time, the police um, turned up as well. And they put a lot of water on my, on my face. Derek John was caused when he crashed one of the stolen mopeds into a lorry. He was jailed for 10 and a half years. His accomplice has never been found. With the motorbike, I'm really scared now. But now I give up. I give up the job. In Bethnal Green, Emmons arrived at work, and his first job takes him to a dangerous estate in East London. I don't want to go there because um, it's very dangerous, but I don't have any choice. Uh, this is the postcard. Are you going to take the job? Yeah, I have to. I don't have any choice because uh, it's not busy time, summertime, and don't have enough money to survive, so I have to take it. Emon works from a network of kitchens that deliver orders from a variety of menus to your door. The Met are also filming their scrapes with moped gangs. They say they are protecting victims like couriers with powers that allow tactics during high-speed pursuits, such as knocking the criminal off their moped. I generally believe that we've now turned the corner. Um, if you look at the recent crime statistics year on year, we've had significant reductions. Uh, it's 27% reduction on the previous time if you compare with last year. So actually, I do think we're making significant inroads into this. But on average, London gangs steal and burgle more than 60 times a day, using stolen mopeds for quick getaways and anonymity. Couriers say nothing has changed for them. I want to get a closer look at the gang's Emon fears. We're following him on his job into a gang hotspot. For the second time in a shift, Emon is approached. Look, 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 look. And this time, he recognizes his attacker. He's coming, he's coming back. He's coming back, he's coming back. Okay, he's coming okay, back. okay, okay. Don't, 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 don't panic, just relax, act normally. Look, he wanted to try to attack me. He's coming back. Act normally. Back. Why are you filming me for? I don't want you to film me, that's my problem. I've got the right for you not to film me. Don't film me. Word seems to be spreading of film crews in the area, and more suspected gang members appear. No, no, he's recording. He's recording what? Well, recording like uh, what? I'm, what? we deliver food in it, how we deliver food. How you deliver food? Yeah, how we deliver the cameras. We pull out for our safety. All these guys are doing is trying to make a living. They just want to deliver your takeaway food. But what strikes me, just spending a few nights with them, is that they have one of the most dangerous jobs in London. When they are sent to an area like this, they're literally driving into a lion's den. There are gangs commanding these streets, operating in large numbers, there's networks of them, and they just come out from nowhere at any moment. In a two-week period, we witnessed intimidation, theft, and violence. That's become the norm for many of London's couriers. Every time when come delivery from this building, two driver for one delivery. Emmons taking no more chances at the end of his shift, delivering in twos and halving his takings. They both spot what they believe are stolen mopeds, abandoned by gangs. Stolen bike. Somebody stole this bike and park here. Look, everything is broken. Emon heads home, still in possession of his bike. But tomorrow, he faces another day on the front line against London's moped gangs. <laughs>